welcome back to another episode of Total War Warmer 3. Of course, playing as uh, No More Clampires, as Kalaxanida. As we are kind of cleaning up the rest of villages. provinces. And I'm curious what happens when we get this one. After all, that is his last element, and he only has armies left. Close victory. Oh, I think that's, that's worth an auto resolve, right? Close, slow. I mean, we are gonna sit in a fort for a uh, uh, for thingy. I could subjugate him, but I think on this one I'd rather actually have the fortress. Not gonna lie. And with that, these boys are my vassals. Yeah. They actually immediately turn into our vassals. Okay. And we got a vessel out of that, so I'm as happy as can be. Now we just need to get rid of his armies. Uh, there we did them. Then we're just gonna do something random. And we're probably gonna get everything at some point anyway, but for now we do want to do what is, of course, most efficient. Uh, you have everything, everything here. Then you're just gonna fill up these points. You dare? You have a few more points to spend. You're on a manticore now. That is lovely. Okay, off. But yeah. Uh, Dragnogus? No. Trolls. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna get rid of the manticore. Not, not really been a fan of that one. And was it the right decision to uh, not vassalize you? I could have vassalized you. You just own all of those gates. And you own all of the stuff inside. I kind of... I mean, they're not gonna really have an army, right? I would be surprised by that. If they really get something, ro something decent rolling, let's call it that. Uh, you don't need to run there anymore. Or maybe, maybe you do need to run there. No, no, actually, change of plans. You are running there. You're gonna stop whatever's happening here. And you might also keep you around for when these guys get a little bit frisky. Because I'm not the biggest fan of the frisk. So. I think we also have reached a level where I'm gonna uh, kind of make decision what to build all. I mean, this building is gonna get removed when we have enough growth, obviously. Then we have three building slots left. Well, obviously this one. This one for the capacity. And I might even just do this one then, just to finish things up. Yeah. That's probably the smartest. I mean, we want to kind of get a uh, uh, capacity and everything get rolling here. I might, might as well do this now. There you go. Uh, you guys. Also, the ca uh, chaos corruption. Same thing here. Get all the corruption rolling. Uh, this one we might have to cancel soon. Uh, I will see how well we hold on the numbers. For now we'll see what uh, uh, village has planned to do. And then we'll see. And then I guess we're gonna send uh, uh, Kolek. I mean this is now the question. Do I continue with uh, cleaning up the, these uh, chaos wastes, or do I actually move into a cafe? That would also be an option. That's the wrong button. Let's actually take a look at the victory condition. That sounds like something crazy. Alright, they actually want me to do that. <laughs> I see. Okay, we have those two... This... yeah, okay. I mean, I guess we're gonna stay here then, and start beating these guys up. It kinda makes sense, to be honest. Also, I don't know how long I'm gonna do this, ac uh, actually. Also, just to say. Like, I'm just gonna play this for a while until I haven't... I'm not sure if I'm gonna go for the goals or anything. 
just gonna have fun. But yeah, maybe I'm just gonna actually get the gates then and gonna stay. I guess it was the right decision to stay around here. Because after all, the short victory condition also gives a permanent bonus. And we like bonuses around these parts. We like them very much. Well, let's see what you are gonna do. Okay. You are fighting this. This is a fortress, you're not fully repaired. Am I gonna be able to defend this? I don't have... I, I have jack shit, I have chaos warriors. And it's an ally, so they're gonna do absolutely stupid stuff. But I feel like just for the value of it... Nah. That's absolutely... that's silly. Alright, took another settlement, obviously. So we're gonna run, march over there and beat them up. I mean, if he would, if if he would own one of those smaller settlements, that would not be the worst, really. Right? How do ants keep getting on me? Fuck off. If he just, like, takes uh, uh, the Dragon Cross Road, for example, I can then just vassalize him, right? I mean, of course I need him to, to do that, otherwise this doesn't quite work, this plan. Otherwise I'm just now marching towards you, my friend. That's a shit building. So... You of course, like I said, also make your way over here. I'm not sure if I actually want to get too close to you. Because this is not really that much of an army. Let's, let's actually wait here. Let's wait here. Alright, these guys want to constantly make build something. Let's just let run around with Kolek and then we're gonna uh, let the others join. That's more reasonable. Oh. Yeah, I forgot about that part. Yeah, this guy is probably dead. God, it's two dragon ogres that are dead. Yeah, yeah, war declaration, I know. See? I mean, that, that kind of just solved itself what we're gonna do next, really. Makes my life a lot easier. As I've mentioned before, these campaigns usually get guided by whoever the glass warn you. I mean, don't need to fight that. That is an obvious loss. Ah, I'm an idiot. Well. That's a bunch of dead dragons. I mean, I, I feel like I've all, all kind of limited uh, the decision making there as well. It doesn't look like they're gonna take a settlement anytime soon. You do have an army here, but that's a tiny army. Well. Time to recruit another, another dude. We did... Uh, uh, I think we did one of these here. Iron skin. 25 armor. Fury. Scared skin. I guess I'm gonna take a carry slot here because I like this unearthly reflexes. 15% speed, melee defense. Why not? 
Oh, but you can get two more dragon ogres. Well, that's very cool. I feel like I'm not even gonna give you anything else. Because we have stuff to build now, actually. So let's save up that money. The dragon ogres are still far in the future. But we're putting in the effort. We first need to find them, basically. <laughs> Of course he runs back into the settlement. You better run back. What do these green do you want? Nope. Leaving my options open. If I want to fight these guys, I'm gonna fight these guys. Oh, I guess, okay. Oh, I was thinking about vassalizing them. God damn it. Xiaoming. I think that's your name. Okay, let's go into normal movement. Let's just go over here. That's a little bit shit. That would have been fantastic. I guess we do need to get rid of you. Right? Destroy the falling factions, yeah. Okay, so I guess we shouldn't have vassalized them anyway. Oh boy. Now is chaos. Hmm, I, don't I mean, there's 11% chance. So there is a chance. I'm gonna stay there for now. And then next turn we can finally get rid of you. I would give if give this a big fight, really. Just beating up this one army and then just taking the settlement. It seems like also cafe is slowly but surely getting decently united. But if we just rampage through that with a thing with a dragon ogre stack. They can be as united as they want, really. Let's see if he runs away or he's gonna stick in the uh, settlement. We may share the same well, that's a no for me, dog. He put someone else in the settlement. I guess that's also an approach. Just like, yeah, yeah, you, you do this. What is this stretch kind of move? <laughs> that is... It feels like that's uh, something a certain other character would have done. Uh... Where'd you go, village? It's not here. I am no one's right? There's nothing around here. Huh? Did you go in an ambush stance somewhere? Or not... What? <laughs> okay, that's not a big siege. That is a rather limited siege. Still not subjugating that. That's my set fortress. You basically fully heal here. Good. That's two levels. Uh, da, 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 speed and malice. Freakish mutations, war beasts, monsters, monsters. Okay. So. Give me lightning. Mm, I mean, he's gonna spread siege corruption, which we do now. not quite want, but it's all right. My prayers are answered. Dominance. I mean, yeah, that's not an army that we are gonna be afraid of, really. Amico 
Good check on you. God damn it. Wait a second. Does it make sense? What if I technically, hypothetically, just get another guy? Hypothetically. Wait, how much is that? 25% missile resistance. Okay. But I like this iron skin. Okay, that doesn't work. A shame. Good, uh, then you can fuck off. I mean, that would have been interesting, just getting... <laughs> but I guess this sad enough doesn't work that way. What a sad day. Uh, they're really not gonna build that stuff, so... Alright, you're also new here. Let's get that corruption done. And then we'll see. I mean, these gates, we're definitely gonna fight the best gates. I mean, that's basically a big thing. I guess I can move him over now, just to hand over the Dragon Ogres, as well. And yeah, like, I mean, like this fight, this is a good example, like, these fights were like a close victory or something like that, or, or like rather small stuff. I'm not really keen on fighting, to be honest. That feels just like something that I'm gonna waste my time on. Really. And patience. Because that's kind of the kind of way where I kind of make the uh, game not too interesting for me. Oh no, he's just raiding there. He's like, yeah, fuck you, that's my settlement. Give me my fortress back. I assume that's how he sounds. I know he sounds different, but... I've gi I, I'm giving these characters whatever voices I want. There we go. This one. You leveled again for some reason. Uh, let's just actually finish this up. And you should be... Yeah, I mean... We, we fought this kind of fight before. You don't have anything. I mean, li like as I also said, a big, a big like, advantage of these kind of auto resolves is also that we usually kill the full army, more often than not, instead of just uh, uh, some other stuff. There we go. Action destroyed. You have reached level thirty-one. You guys just keep filling these these thingies up. Okay, okay. and time to make our way towards. Wait, quick check here. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's gonna take. F you know what? Let's quickly run over, just so that you guys meet a little bit faster. Then you can hand out over the troops, and then we'll see. These gates have fairly chunky garrisons, as far as I remember. But that shouldn't stop us. Now have a decent bit of money left over. Uh, this one we're not gonna do. You. I mean, there's no thing increase, right? You come from all buildings. I mean, that's not bad. I guess I'll do that. You're gonna need a bunch more time before you can get to the last level, which is fairly expensive as well. But I think I'm actually gonna keep- I mean, I've just got rid of this one lord, but I guess I'm just gonna do another one. <laughs> or I'm gonna wait until this guy is available again. Nah, you. I mean, I'm not gonna give you any units at the moment, but you're basically the one who's just gonna keep checking if there's the dragon ogres. 
This guy's gonna turn into an actual army. I've just decided. That Grimgor gets his, uh, I mean, I'm just sorry that my vessels are, are gonna suffer by just walking around my territory. <laughs> it's cute, isn't it? I'm wondering if I should go for a two-front war, but if I do a two-front war, I kind of mi kind of miss out on the uh, defeat traits. And that's something I do not want to do. I could send this one, this one south to subjugate. That actually is an option. I mean, after all, of course, when we give him a, a bigger army, because not with that army. Two dragon orcs is settled enough, not quite the army. I am the Tempest. You're not my vessel. Nope. I'm not. I do not make deals with non-vessels. So, you can run all the way over here. Moving. You quickly check. Nope. Well, Kulik. Time to exchange some units. This guy can have these low boys. And I'll take the Dragon Ogres. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. That is completely limited your movement. I see. Well, time to march over here. That's gonna take a while anyway. Do you really all have nothing to do? Nope. Alright, then... You. And I guess I'm gonna give you some marauders. I mean, these Chaos Warhounds of Poison make more sense, right? I assume that you cannot upgrade, right? No, you're not on the list. Alright, alright, alright. Did I check that? I did check that. So, alright. Let's see how often I can say alright in this <laughs> episode. <coughs> At some point there's gonna be a, com a compilation of me saying so and, and, and alright. But that would require watching everything that I do, and that is definitely not something I want to uh, make anyone suffer through. Trying to understand what <laughs> I'm talking about. I mean, what do we really do with this guy's army? The thing is, like, I always like to do very themed armies, and not just, like, uh, uh, efficient armies. I guess that's the best comparison. We could do, like, um, a classic... What do you want? Trade agreement. Sure. We could do a melee... focus? Okay, you're just confederating. Uh, you are gonna continue your way over here. To just give you marauders? That seems... I mean, I guess the marauders at some point are gonna turn into something. I know that you guys are fairly melee focused anyway. That's the wrong button. I mean, you could... Uh, Give you a hell cannon, and then that's kind of evening out, right? Now is chaos. I mean, you make your way back over to the home area. 
where you then can recruit units of choice. I guess I could actually recruit those already and then just hand them over. I mean, Expiric Champions, Forsaken, a bunch of Marauders. I guess you do have the Marauder Horseman to do that. Let's, let's do a little bit of a simpler uh, thingy. We already have two of those. Let's give you another one. So... You of course also want to give your heroes. You are a Chaos... No, you are a champion. Then you are gonna get a Chaos Sorcerer. Maybe even two. Let's take a look. Cooldown for all spells. Open dice. Allure of Slanesh. So burning... But... Oh, this is a burning body... Uh, of someone who is already burning. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's... I'm gonna get this guy. Of Do I want another? Uh? My magic no. One mage is enough. And I guess this hero is maybe not completely necessary. We'll see. Alright, you have built that building. We're gonna do these lower ones, as always. Let's actually do these ones uh, uh, everywhere. I kind of want you guys to build up finances for me. Because technically that's more of uh, to w going towards the stuff I like to do. Just building finances. And after all we're building up a realm. I mean I guess with the Warriors of Chaos it's a little bit l less like that. And more like we want to... Corrupt everything and chaos and such things. But it basically melts down to the same thing. You have two camps ne 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 very nearly next to each other. That makes no sense. But who am I to I tell them what to do? The there we go. I like that my trade agreements are all very garbage because I don't have any resources. <laughs> but oh well, they also don't have any resources, so it's alright. So, you are nearly there. Let's see, do you have a dude here? It's probably gonna be two stacks. What is it? What is it? Grain Gunners? Trade Lancers? I will see. First of all, you are gonna get yourself that, those units. All of them. You guys join that army. Okay, but we still have some space left, right? Yeah, there's two spaces left. Uh. I guess one more Marauder for now. And then you're just gonna make your way towards this here. We can get the Marauder later. But I think it's time that we beat up these guys. Uh, you are on... This end? That's actually fantastic. I think... Do you, is this the only settlement? August? Where are you? Yes it is! Fantastic! That's an easy uh, subjugate. Let's go. All right. Buildings. More money is always welcome. And we will soon enough have to beat something up again. But I guess we're also going to actually end the episode here because this is just a loading. Uh, lo uh, this is just a turn time again. And I guess I'll see you guys next episode. Bye!